Okay, people. Now it's time to test uh, 50 LEDs. I have one right here, right now, that's being tested at 100 milliamps. You can see over here we have uh, 1.8 volts and 10 point or 103 milliamps. We're supposed to be at 100 milliamps, but whatever, 103 is okay. All right, so 1.8 volts, 103. I'm gonna test 50 of these. But you guys are only gonna to get to watch me spend enough time to test 10 of them. And, uh, oh yeah, I'm wearing safety goggles because uh, sometimes uh, they may explode. So, like I said, every good engineer checks all their pieces. And so I'm going to test 50 of these to make sure that each one of them works perfectly. All right, here we go. I know. All right. So, let me see. I'm going to take this and plug it in. You see the red inside of there? Expect you probably can. And over there it says it's taking 100 milliamps. Okay. <clears throat> the long one is the positive. Short one is the negative. And this one is conducting. It's on and it's, let me see, I'm going to raise the voltage just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now it needs a little, a little less now. Okay. And I forgot to put my goggles back on. Alright, so you guys can see that this one is working. Alright, and it's drawing 100 milliamps like it's supposed to. Alright. Okay. Right. So uh, we see that it's working. You can see that it's working, and I can see over there it says 106 milliamps. All right. Okay. Now you can see the. Uh, I'm turning these people down just a little bit more. You can see that the uh, meters are showing just a little bit of. Okay, so the one on this side is our voltage, is our voltage, and so we're doing 1.85 volts. And they're supposed to run at 100 milliamps over here on this side. All right, so this is whoa, that's uh, way above what it's supposed to be. Well, your server was stupid. <laughs> I need to put in a precision knob on my power supply. Jesus age, man. Okay. Okay. 1.02 volts. Alright, so that's uh, number four. Number five. Okay, it's working. But it's 90 milliamps. Actually, you know what? That last one was kind of annoying because. I need to raise this a little bit more to where we get a hundred milliamps because most of them are testing at a hundred milliamps as uh, 1.8 volts I'm uh, 
adjusting the voltage so the amperage is okay there we go 1.8 volts all right so this one is 1.8 volts doing 99 milliamps so that's within our acceptable range <laughs> this one okay doing 105 okay this next one eh, 96 that's a little low but that's okay all right next one 97 okay that's acceptable and 105 now that's kind of weird because that's like 10 milliamps more than it should be i don't really like that because that's going to mess with the other ones i'll put that guy off to the side okay and i guess this one might be number 10 okay okay acceptable i like it so uh there's about uh 10 leds something like that that we've uh there's like 10 leds that we've uh tested to make sure they're all working well and uh we found one that's a little bit over which is kind of annoying i put it over there and then we got these other uh 40 more to go all right thank you for watching i appreciate everybody uh yeah watching to see how boring it is to do electronics but hey if you want to make a quality circuit you got to do the right stuff it's called good engineering okay thank you everybody Take care. Uh, who am I watching right now? Oh, I know those people. They're watching Seven Days. They're playing Seven Days to Die. And the War Duck is here. Bye. So a good rule in engineering is to uh, buy more pieces than what you need when you're using buying a new piece that you never worked with before. And just in general, if you're buying a lot of something, you should buy more of what you need just in case some of them fail. And so that's what happened here. We actually needed 48 infrared LEDs and we had 50 and only two of them failed. <clears throat> and these two didn't really fail. Um, they had low amperage, which was like 70 milliamps and 73 milliamps, which is strange. They still worked but they were running way low so uh i thought maybe they might fail sometime in the future if i put these two in the in the uh in the circuit and uh so these 48 they range between 93 milliamps and 111 milliamps so they're all pretty much you know within within range so uh there you go yeah you gotta test stuff to make sure everything works right Parts of good engineering. <laughs>